right, coming up next, it's the UFC Heavyweight Showdown. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished strikers in this division. Sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of JK. trouble. All right, here he is, DC. In my mind, this is the most dominant force in the MMA game today. The undisputed UFC lightweight champion, your AKA teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. Yeah, and for Khabib, it's the well-rounded skill set that has propelled him to one of the longest undefeated streaks in mixed martial arts history. No missteps, no mistakes, no underestimation of opponents. Always prepared, always ready to go, and he can rely on his the coaching he gets, also on the ability that he has to carry him to victory time and time again. Wrestling, Sambo, Jiu-Jitsu, striking, the guy has it all. I know you listed striking last, but your head coach, Javier Mendez, says sometimes he's going southpaw in yeah. training. We haven't seen just how good a striker he is. We saw shades in the McGregor fight. Yes. But not complete. But technically, he has so many skills that he has not even displayed to the MMA community yet. All right, another big spot for Khabib Nurmagomedov here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters, and they both possess the same height and a similar reach. Here is Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 220 pounds. Fighting out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Iron. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 29 wins, no losses. He stands five feet ten inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, Habib the Eagle, Nimagomedov. All right, commit to the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out for The fighters touch gloves. anticipated fight is now underway. Looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler. Am I simplifying things too much? In this instance, you aren't, because this is what got these two men to the show. Right. One guy is known for his diverse attack on the feet. The other guy is known for his ability to drag the fight to the mat and put his opponents in danger from the very start of the grappling exchange. What a punch. And they are exchanging leather early. Big elbow there, Lance. Oh, straight right. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh, that 
That's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. Nurmagomedov gets absolutely tagged by that stiff jab. How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm taken down by Nurmagomedov. Close guard. Well, any time you are in a ground-fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Oh, and there it is. One of the best back takers in the sport. Took his back there. Now we'll see what he can do. Now he's in imminent danger. Now he is in trouble because he will take his time. He will start to force him into making mistakes. He'll punch, punch, punch. The moment the guy starts worrying too much about the strike, he will take his neck and try to find the submission victory. Good work from the top here by Nermako Medov. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Nermago Meadow. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Under two minutes now to go in the round. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Nermago Medov's back in full mount. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. Oh. Now he falls back into the finishing position. Clinch, a lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1-level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking. We won that last round. This round, we want to keep mixing things up. Use your punches, use your knees, use your kicks. We want to see you work. Okay, round two, you ready? Second round on the 
there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, so a good job by it here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling and slipping. He's doing a great job. Romagomedov's cheek looks like it's cut. Yes, it is starting to bleed a little bit now. Oh, he's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. <laughs> oh, nice jab. turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Checks the leg kick. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab. He may throw the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Fahim Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. Now, Beef lands early, and he lands off. Well, at this point, he's got to be way up on the judges' scorecards, clearly winning the fight, and largely has gotten it done with his striking team. He got it done with his strike. He fought well behind the jab, but the strikes that really did make an impact on the judges' mind. Oh, buckled him there. Beautiful shot to the body. Nice. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Nice jab by him there. He's going nose hunting tonight, huh? Yeah, he's great with the jab. And not only as a setup, he really is trying to get damage off every time he throws this punch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Continues to work out of that tight clinch. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Just a slip there. Right hand punch to the clinch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Ooh, blocks the shot. Straight punch land. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter evades. Big roundhouse now. Just misses. Tags him with the left. Stuffs that takedown attempt oh, without issue. Man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to the position, got another beautiful takedown. Under a minute to go in the round. Ooh wee! Ooh wee! What a right hand by this young man. Back to the feet now. The right hand just misses. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. There's no give on that leg kick. Oh, the cut on that cheek is only getting worse. His face is a mess. 20 seconds left. Oh, beautiful straight right hand. You got him whip his hip into that kick. Uh, hook to the head by the Mago Metal. This guy cannot miss the head with his strikes. Right now we take a look back at 
some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, really. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did, and they both found success over the course of that round. All right, you ready? You ready? Third, Third round, round underway. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. No! Oh, huge right hand! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Big knee to the body! An uppercut lead! Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nice. Nice. Big leg kick lands. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Catch mouse, you gotta play catch mouse. Hit and don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. Muay Thai Club. Right hand landed. Oh, collar tie. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Punches blocked. Nice punch by Nermago Medoff. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh! He's hurt bad. Just over three minutes to go in round three. Three minutes to go in round three. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. Ah. You are battering that nose. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. He's able to slip the left hook. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go finish his fight. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Out of range with that one. And they separate. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, nice hook by him there. How many times can this young man land this particular punch? Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. We'll get him. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. See if he can get that ground and pound him. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. The reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to get his chokes off or find great ground and pound, but very patient ground and pound from such a dominant position. All right, less than a minute here to go now in round three. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. All right, a good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off him. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Oh, wow, oh! He's gonna tag off right here. 
Continuing to try to manipulate the head here. Now he falls back into the finishing position. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliano calls a stop to this contest at four minutes, 54 seconds of the third round. For the winner by submission, Khabib the Eagle Nevada. Well, what an incredible result here tonight as you see the winner there celebrating his victory by way of submission. and. They put so much stock into finishing this fight. They felt like to really spin his career forward, they needed to not just win, but get the finish, and they certainly got it tonight. They got the finish. He's such a terrific grappler. Every time he is on his back, he looks for submissions over and 